I really like fashion illustration, so I draw everything by hand and I like to just roughly sketch some ideas and then from those couple of ideas I can pretty much do a whole collection loosely based on all of that and then like it'll all like evolve into something. My collection is like loosely based on Hitchcock films. I'm always inspired by that. I like um, I like that very like put together look. It's kind of cold, but it's very chic and it's it's just nice. It's always kind of something that I, I look for and reference. Um, the colors are quite simple because I'm not really like a huge print person. I, I prefer embellishment. It's basically focused on fabrics and just an overall mood and feeling. The fabrics that I'm always drawn to are usually ones that have like fall really nice and have a really nice like handle. I use chiffon and, and silk sometimes but I really prefer caddy. It's this fabric that's very like um, clean and it gives a very streamlined look so it looks very like it just looks very very nice and, and drapes really nice. Um, but I also found this really amazing um, double-faced alpaca and it kind of looks like you know a baby seal, a wet baby seal or something so it has a really cool effect and I've been using that like in different pieces and uh, that's the fabric that I'm like most excited to see like actually on and like moving around and stuff because I think it'll be really cool. I think the Canadian fashion world is like really getting good and it's like I think it's quite strong. I was like surprised actually because they didn't really understand much of it being away but now coming here and seeing like everything that's going into it and like seeing how like important it really is it's like it's kind of exciting I feel I feel good I think it's like I've always wanted to do this and I'm like I'm like I think I have enough like drive to to get where I want to go so I just needed like the boost from like these guys basically to help